guys, I'm back here with another unboxing. This is Makoto Misika from a certain scientific railgun. Uh, this figure just came out, so I got it this month. Uh, and, th and there's three versions of it. So this is going to be the one with the black bathing suit and the white polka dots. And then she has the pink uh, floaty thing. The other one is this one right here, which is uh, with the white, orange, and... Uh, I guess yeah, white and orange. And doesn't it doesn't show the third one. I think the third one was the one with white and like pink polka dots or something. I can't remember exactly. But here's the side of it. The back it, it's just showing the other one. This one here it says limited. Um, I don't know if just this one's limited, but it has like even they it looks like they have like the same box for all of them and then they just put the sticker on the top of what it is. This is by Orca Toys, I forgot to say that. Let's get this open. It comes with an instruction manual of how to remove and assemble her. I might not need it, but we'll see. The base, and then the, where she puts her feet. There's a floaty donut thing. It feels pretty cool. It's like um, rubber. And it's clear, so that's pretty good. So she comes in pieces and you have to assemble her. It's fairly easy. You can have her just like that. Or you can put this part on her. I have her like this. This being my first figure by Orca Toys, I really didn't know what to expect before I pre-ordered it. But I just went ahead and pre-ordered it once I saw it on Ami Ami because I really like Mikoto Misika and I wanted another figure of her. But right out of the box, I noticed that it's actually not a bad figure. Um, it's not as great as maybe my figures uh, from Alpha Max, Max Factory. Uh, stuff like that. This one, of course, uh, um, is one of the three versions that came out with the black skirt, black bathing suit, and then white polka dots, and then she has the clear pink uh, little floating tube. You're able to take off her skirt and just have her with the um, with the white, but I'm gonna leave her with both. It's fairly easy to take it off. I mean, just um, as you'll see, you can easily take it off and switch it. There's a small cutout on the floaty that she has on her arm. So it's easy to put on and take off. At first, I, I didn't really know how to put it on until I, I saw that there's a small cutout where her arm rests. So that's very easy. So it's very easy to assemble. It's not like an actual process. It comes with the instructions just in case, but it's it's fairly simple once you just look at it. The hair is uh, really accurate from the anime. So she does have the the thing that she has on her hair on the anime, the band, the headband. She has her hair combed the same way as it is in the anime, they didn't change it. On this one, they didn't paint her fingernails, they're just clear, but it still looks fine. This isn't the same bathing suit that she had in the anime, this is just a, a different one. I do have the figure by Four Leaves that um, I will be unboxing later of Mikoto Misika, and that one she does have the bathing suit that she was wearing in the anime, I can't remember if season 1 or 2, but it's the same one, so that one's really nice, you'll be seeing that one soon. But uh, this one is also a really nice bathing suit that she's wearing. The the only small things I didn't like were um, on her, the white part of her bathing suit, you can see how it was uh, painted on. It, it doesn't look as high detailed as um, the actual black part of the bathing suit or her hair. But other than that, it's still a really nice figure. Um, I, I will recommend it, like I said, if, if you want to build up your collection of Mikoto Misuko figures, because uh, she's a really awesome character. Compared to the previous uh, figure I just unboxed, which is uh, Taya Kukten, uh the base on this one is very plain. It's just a plain white base. Um, it's still, I mean, 
it's basically just for her to be on. It would have been nice if the base at least had like her name or something on it. Or um, sand because she's basically in a bathing suit so she'll be like in the beach or maybe the pool. But it's the, it's fine I suppose. Uh, I've never bought from Orca Toys so I'm not entirely sure how they do their figures separate from like other figures. But it's still a nice figure. Um, I would say that it's still uh, a nice figure overall. They, um, it's not like as really high detailed as I'm used to from my Max Factory, Alpha Max, Sky 2 freeing figures but it's still it, it's still good I, I would still probably buy another figure by orca toys so I, I would recommend this one if you do like Mikoto Misako you want to build up your collection of um, railgun or even index index figures because she does come out in, in uh, magical index as well also on this one you can see that she has a small smile on her face the other version she has a different facial expression so depending on the version you get her face changes a little bit and as well as her bathing suit and the color of the floaty that she has on her arm. Other than that, her pose is the same on all three of them, I believe. And they're all by Orca Toys, of course. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, unboxing and quick review of this Mikoto Misika figure uh, by Orca Toys. And let me know if you like more figures like this, more Nendroids. I will be getting Nendroids at some point. I don't have any on order, but um, hopefully I'll be getting some more Nendroids. But I'll see you in the next one. Okay, well everything just decided to fall off.